I'm wondering if you've ever played the game Memory, where you have a bunch of different cards in front of you and you're trying to match pairs together. So if you have that, that's really cool. But if you want to make your own DIY memory game, you definitely can. It's actually not that challenging. And it's something that you can do with the materials that you have right in your house right now. So you can take construction paper and then you can take colored pencils or crayons or markers and you just need your imagination. So what you do is you cut 40 squares and you just want to make sure it's not see-through paper because it'll be really easy to see the matches if you see through paper. But make sure the paper is um, not something that you can see through when you draw on it. And what you want to do is you want to draw the same image on two different pieces of construction paper. And so then when you're done, you should have 20 pairs. And you don't have to make it really super complicated. You can just stick to things like shapes, like triangles or squares or hearts or moons or patterns. And then once you're all done completing making the memory game, then you play memory. So to play the memory game, what you want to do is turn the squares all over and then mix them all up and then lay them out in a grid. And then once you lay them out in the grid, decide who's going to go first and you take turns to find the pairs. So you can turn over two squares and see if it's a pair. If the squares are the same, you get to go again. If the squares aren't the same, then it's your partner's turn. And then you keep going until all all the pairs are found. This is a great activity with that you can do with probably the things you have in your house right now. So I encourage you to go and play today. Mm-hmm.